thing is, I actually did have some content ready to go in the middle of editing. I have three whiskey bottles that I'm kind of almost done with, actually. And I did the first tasting for each of them. I haven't gotten to the final tasting yet, but at this point, it's been so long <laughs> since I shot those videos, I've actually forgotten what my first tasting even consisted of. Um, so I'm actually going to wait to do those and kind of figure out how I should format that. Probably I'll just sit down at the table and do a proper tasting after I've compiled some expectation notes. Super funny. He was just cracking jokes like 
Uh, and then there were some activities, and I can't remember which island it was on, but you had to like spin these thingies. Uh, it was like a game or something. They had all kinds of games in this hut, but this particular video I'm showing is a sp my son and I tried to spin these things, and we were terrible at it. I think the point of it was to get all of them spinning at once, and I gave up after like two. Uh, yeah, but that was actually kind of really uh, relaxing <laughs> to like the sounds of it. Typical ASMR type uh, sounds. I think. Restrooms. Close this restroom. If anyone here needs to use a restroom, right across this bridge to my left and in the Valley Niwanga Okanu House. All of you Naka means hello, good health, and conveys a message of good life to you all. So let's try that one more time. Bula Vinaka. Bula Vinaka. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone here been to Fiji? Anyone here been to Fiji? That is known today as Polynesia. It was completely uninhabited in the fringes of the Western Pacific, in places like the Solomons, Papua New Guinea, Tasmania, islands referred to today as Melanesia. Scientific evidence proved that these Melanesians have been living in these islands for more than 20,000 years. They were a hunter and gatherer culture, living in small villages and small family units, isolated from the rest of the population. Animatism 
and build sacred temples of worship like this one. The high priest has just offered prayers on behalf of the people, asking the gods for blessings as they set foot on this new found land. Notice that the Murakalu or temple is highly elevated. And yeah, that was the Kuchabo and also we passed through a waterfall that I thought was super cool too, so I'm gonna show a quick clip of that. So that was the cultural center, and uh, yes, we also took a boat ride on one of the catamarans. I'm not sure if I'm going to show that or not. Well, okay. oh, yeah, on one of the catamarans. And it, I don't know if it's going to be really asmr -y, but I'm going to see. I kind of like it. Um, but it was, yeah, it was like one of those booze cruises, so I was just sitting there drinking Mai Tais the whole time and just having the wind blow in my face. That was really nice. And my son also was pretty chill during that boat ride. I think that it was rocky and fast enough where he felt like he should stay put and luckily did not get seasick. And then finally, the last and possibly to me, the most ASMR -y experience. Yeah, the most ASMR style experience that I had. I unfortunately did not start recording until towards the end. I really wish I started recording in the beginning. I just didn't like think about it. I didn't think it was going to be something with somebody such a relaxing voice and like the crinkling of paper. But at the hotel they had these free activities for children and they invited my son to create a candy lay so this lady sat down next to my son and started assembling uh, pieces of wrapped candy and putting it into a larger wrapping in a style of a lay so a lot of crinkle sounds a really soothing voice uh, my son being pretty uh, passive <laughs> and chill also and excited, I think, at the fact that he was about to have a whole lay full of candy to bring back to the hotel room. But yeah, that was really, really tingly. Ah, uh, yeah, it was really good. But I did get the end, so... And, and, yeah. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, it's a necklace. <laughs> so yeah, that was my Hawaii trip. Yes, I am going to conclude this video with a quick tasting of a local whiskey in Oahu called Old Pali Road Whiskey, distilled at the Ko'olau Distillery. No idea what I just saw it at one of the convenience stores. I did a quick Google search and this is like one of the more popular ones. Yeah, I I don't know if I should expect good things about this. This is obviously a very locally craft whiskey. Um, I've had a few of those in the States. And, uh, they're all pretty good. So yeah.
not a super expensive whiskey. I think it cost me like $45 there, so medium. Pretty light in color. Like, uh, yeah, like goldish yellow. some scents on here that I don't particularly like. Yeah, I think there's a bit of uh, butterscotch on here. Definitely some floral. I think I was expecting it to be similar to a bourbon, but I don't think it's going to be anymore. Yeah, there's some sweetness to it too. Definitely getting some fruitiness on here. It's uh, distilled in a very tropical location, so I, maybe I'm just incepting my mind, expecting tropical fruits on here. Yeah, I'd say like bananas, probably. Mango. A little bit of orange citrus. I feel like it's getting better. The nose, I think at first I didn't particularly like it. Now it's kind of growing on me. was quite the first experience on the palate for me, I would say. I gotta try again, just to be sure. It's a long finish. Definitely a long finish for me.
bunch of notes as well where it's like and i think the butterscotch and the syrupiness also start coming through too towards the end of the palate and i don't like that very much maybe other people do but yeah like i think that the main attraction is really in the middle and it's kind of short-lived but after it longer into the finish because like i said this finish is quite long it takes a while for it to die out all that's really left on the finish as it continues to fade away is peppery spice notes which is nice so yeah it's like starts off very subpar then it becomes great it's all the way up here and then it drops <laughs> like a roller coaster to a taste that i do not like very much and then it kind of settles back in the middle and just draws out in a very long finish that's that's what i'm getting for now at least just based off of two sips yeah it almost seems like i have to like dig deeper to find notes that i enjoy on here i think it's a somewhat complex whiskey um but even on the nose like the most dominant scent, I think, is the brininess and the butterscotch. Probably more so butterscotch. Yeah, like the butterscotch. Um, but then if you dig a little bit deeper, then you're getting the tropical fruits. You're getting some citrus. Maybe a little bit of honey and floral notes as well. Like, there's quite a bit going on. It's just in a deeper layer is all. That's the problem. Like they're really being overtaken by the other ones. So I do plan on adding a splash of water to see if those other notes come out a little bit more. Yeah. liked like the underwhelmingness of the front of the palette isn't even that bad it's just like the end of the palette it's i don't like it very much and it kind of ruins it otherwise i'd say that this whiskey is great i would definitely give it like a, a four out of five It's definitely worth picking up a bottle just to experience um, the notes on here, right? It's it's good. I'm definitely going to finish this bottle. It's not gross. Um, yeah, I mean, it's good. That's the best way I can describe this. It's a good whiskey. I think that it has enough complexity to it that it makes you think. It makes you want to explore it a little bit more and i have a feeling i'm going to identify even more notes as i keep drinking this and maybe after i pull up my ipad and see what other people have to say about it and see what yeah just there is to say about it online then i'll come up with some more conclusions here as well just uh, read the description on here. Oh, this is a veteran-made whiskey, too. I didn't do any research on this, by the way, clearly. According to Hawaiian legend, the gods reside in the ever-present mist where the peaks of the Kualao Mountains meet the heavens. Tropical rainfall from this mist is filtered for generations through volcanic rock to become the pure artesian water resource create our legendary whiskey. Old Pali Road is a union of our locally distilled whiskey and a high quality A 
aged American whiskey, hand blended to the perfect proof with pure Hawaiian water. We hope you enjoy this handcrafted spirit as much as we love making it. It's a very nice description, but it doesn't tell me anything. I definitely really like the spicy notes that linger. Um, they make their appearance again in the middle of the palate and they disappear again for some reason, but then they come back and they s they're there to stay throughout the whole finish. Yeah, but definitely not uh, very smoky. Whiskey. Yeah, not much peat. Yeah, I think <coughs> with the and yeah, with the spiciness, there is a semblance to bourbon, but this is definitely just more in its own. American blended whiskey, I'd say. Um, yeah. I'm probably not going to get much more out of this on my own, so I'm going to finish this dram and then I'm going to pull up my iPad. Distillers got it listed, so let's just go with that. Okay. Huh. This okay, the distillery uses Hawaiian water, which is said on the bottle, and locally sourced corn to create a distillate that is blended with five year old. smooth and straw like with a little alcohol burn nice average dram smooth a little ethanol -y at the beginning i wouldn't think that ethanol's not a very pleasant taste to me either but um i don't think it was ethanol -y at the beginning quickly mellowed into berry like sweetness i do agree that there was sweetness coming in with spiciness Bean, cream, a touch of clove, maybe a little coconut. Ooh, coconut, I agree. Actually, the, honestly, I don't like the taste of coconut very much, so I think that coconut is probably that other flavor intertwined with like, the butterscotch I was talking about. I think that there's definitely some coconut on here. Like the island, not overly complex. 
Max has a short finish, but quite nice as a neat pour. All right, so that person basically said the opposite of what I think. Soft vanilla and maybe honey. The honey rides through and is more pronounced in the taste. The sweetness sticks around to so pleasant, more of a sharing. Spice, finally, somebody says spice. A bit of cream on the nose. Oh, cream. I guess that's kind of like the licorice syrupiness I was talking about. Licorice, clove palette, spicy finish. I do definitely agree with the spicy finish. All right, this person uh, categorized it by nose, palette, and finish. Intense vanilla bean on the nose, and oaky notes abound. Wisps of smoke on the back end, even smells like the Hawaiian air where this whiskey is finished. Okay, we probably don't agree with the smoke. Like, yeah, vanilla bean makes sense. Not even sure about the oakiness. I didn't really get much wood on here. Very thin on the palate. Vanilla bean ice cream, a little smoke. Cherries, maybe even a little coconut. Finish, not much nuance. Short finish. That's so interesting that so many people think that this is a short finish. I, I thought it was pretty long. It weirdly tastes like Hawaii. Nose resembles a lighter, non pleated Isla. Ethel, almost a hint of coconut. Palette, silk. Vanilla. The coconut hint is also in the palate. Finish. Slight spice. Oaky. Slight fruitiness. Okay, so a lot of uh, opinions here that I wouldn't quite agree with. I'm trying to find if there's any other new notes. Apricot, maybe. Yeah. Now that I have like plum and coconut in my head, those are kind of dominant scents. So if you like that flavor and aroma, you might really like this whiskey. But that's, you know, just like I said, there's more diversity in this whiskey too. And there are notes that I personally like. I just have to really dig find them and it seems like the splash of water is not bringing out the other notes to the forefront on the nose yeah it stays butterscotch maybe a little bit more um, spiciness comes out on the nose it seems like there's a little bit more kick which is interesting because usually it gets diluted with the water. Yeah. I'd say a coconut plum butterscotch. That was it, right? Like a syrupiness cream. Let me write some of this down so I don't forget what it is I'm even talking about. I 
is uh, tone down the spicy notes it might bring up the sweet notes a little bit more but uh, those dominant flavors are still kind of dominant yeah I'm gonna stick with my original uh, verdict where the palette starts off under then in then uh, spicy and sweet notes take over in the middle loved this part strongest and last to fade away yeah that was my experience of this whiskey not too bad probably would not pick up another bottle but I'm glad I did pick up this one how often am I gonna try a whiskey and still out in Hawaii, right? Uh, maybe it would have been a cooler experience in Hawaii at the distillery itself. Not sure. Yeah, again, I'd rate this whiskey as pretty good. Maybe even a little bit less than pretty good. Like, good. Just good. at various occasions probably at dinner time and yeah that concludes this video um, to my to those of you who have been subscribed and watching the content hey there sorry for the absence if you're new watching this video hi um, I, pr I primarily do 
do whiskey tasting. <laughs> I primarily do whiskey tasting videos in an ASMR format. Um, but I do other things as well. I plan to have other types of content, not deviating too much from what I'm currently doing, but not just whiskey tastings. So feel free to stick around if you're interested. Um, yeah, I'm open to pump out some more content very soon. That being said, these are the three bottles I was talking about. <laughs> I have done the first tasting for each of them. Completely forgot what I've said at this point. Um, but I wasn't kidding when I said they're all popular, right? This is just the uh, Jameson Irish whiskey. I plan to have this bottle on my shelf at all times. I have the Ardbeg 10 year. Heard really good things about it. I love it. I'm about done with it. So I do need to do a. I'm saving the rest for my, my actual tasting video. And then I have the Woodford Reserve bourbon. Also a great, great bourbon. Um, super popular and a go to for many people and probably for me as well. I have nothing but good things to say about the Woodford Reserve, for sure. So, uh, yeah, expect a video out on each of these whiskeys as well. And uh, maybe some other stuff, I don't know. I, I am open.